urges and behaviors that are excessive and or harmful to oneself or others and cause significant impairment in social and occupational functioning as well as legal and financial difficulties. The symptoms are aggression, agitation, and socially inappropriate. This disorder could be uh, demonstrated with gambling. So, uh, what do you got? Uh, what can I get for these? Hmm. Well, we've got a sign. We've got a flower pot with flowers included. Oh. A sign. Curtains. Picture of a man and woman. A lamp and another one dollar bill. Oh, nice. Awesome deal. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> Drinking can also harm others and yourself. What's up, guy? Why are you doing drinking that? Gets rid of my problems. Oh, I can't believe you. Aggressive actions can also be known. Also, it can cause self-harm. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Don't try me because I'll do it! There isn't really a direct cure for impulse control disorder, but psychiatrists and psychologists can treat it with deep, deep counseling. Impulse uh, control disorder, it just, it's not that common. Types of impulse control disorders include intermittent explosive disorder, kleptomania, pyromania, gambling addictions, and trichotillomania. Just for a fun fact for y'all, the fifth edition of the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder, also known as DSM-5, published in May 2013, includes a new chapter, not in DSM-4-TR, on Disruptive Impulse Disorder Control and Conduct Disorder Problems in Emotional and Behavioral Self-Control. And, you know, it includes impulse control disorders, not otherwise specified. Here's another fun fact. Five behavioral stages characterize impulsivity. And impulse growth, tension, pleasure on acting, relief from the urge, and finally guilt, which may or may not arise. Arise.